everybody. We're the Scots, and we live full-time in our RV. We like to try to cook and still eat healthy, even though we live on the road. And today, Brian, Chef Brian here, is going to show us how to make barbecue beef brisket in the Instant Pot. Follow me. Let's get cooking. So what you'll need to make this barbecue beef brisket, so we're going to start off with the main thing, which is a two to three pound beef roast. Then we're going to go into our rub spices. And for our rub, you're going to use a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a quarter teaspoon of celery seed, and an eighth teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. For our sauce, you're going to need a half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a half teaspoon of dry mustard. So let's get cooking. So the first step is creating our rub, which involves taking these spices and mixing them in a bowl. Okay, so now that I've mixed my rub, I'm gonna actually spread half of the rub over the top of my meat. And to keep things a little bit cleaner, making sure that the spices don't stick to your hand, I like to use a sandwich bag to rub the meat. That's a good tip. We have a little bit of slave labor going when we have the kids in the summer and we make them do this to all the steaks. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. You'll rub the spices all over. Try to get it down to the side. If you need a little bit more, don't be afraid to give a little bit more love. Right down the side. Ooh, that's a lot of love. Put it back in there. We need that later. Don't want to waste the love. Okay. Then we're going to flip the roast and put the rest of the love on the back. The love, I like that. It's a lot harder to sprinkle with your left hand. <laughs> now you'll see some spices that are on my cutting board. Something that I like to do is go ahead and pick up the roast. And you see the sides where it doesn't have very much spice. Just go ahead and pick up that spice up off the board. When leave this little bit back here for the other side as you can see right here oh, that little spot right there they need some loving hey that's a nice cutting board hey go Colorado <laughs> okay so now that our meat is sufficiently rubbed we are actually going to take the meat and place it in our instant pot Oh. You don't want to have your basket in there because you want this to have direct contact with the bottom of the inside pot. So now that we have the brisket in the Instant Pot, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. Now I like to make my sauce directly in my measuring cup as A, it's less dishes, and B, you can just pour it straight into the Instant Pot from there. Cool. Okay, so I've added the half a cup of ketchup first into the measuring cup uh, because I like to measure everything after that and just throw it straight into the cup and mix it in there. So, here we go. I really like adding this apple cider vinegar gives a really nice sweet flavor but not too sweet because of the ketchup oh, I need two tablespoons. don't shortchange yourself on the vinegar this is a really good tomato based barbecue sauce that I really really personally enjoy nice and sweet not spicy and it's just a great accompaniment for the meat itself. I actually think it's a little spicy. 
personally, but it, in a good way. Actually, I think the spice that you get from it comes from the rub. Oh yeah? Because of the crushed red pepper. Not so much the sauce? Not so much the sauce, that's correct. So I guess if you like more spice, you can do more red pepper, and if you like yes. less, you can do a little less can, of the red pepper. You can pepper. do that according to taste of you and your family. And then, the ground mustard. Ground mustard is a really underused spice, I think. It's so good. So now that we have everything in the measuring cup, we're gonna go ahead and give it a good whisk. Now I've made this beef brisket quite a few times. I think maybe five or six times now. We've made it plenty of times for parties and it's always a really big hit. Um, what I do recommend is this is sauce right here that we've already made is going to go in the Instant Pot with the brisket. But I do recommend making some extra, make an entirely different batch to have um, on the side. People like to add more barbecue sauce to their stuff and it's a great homemade barbecue sauce. So, now that we have it all mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add it into my Instant Pot. So now my favorite part, adding this wonderful barbecue sauce to the already loved meat. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour this on top. And let it drizzle all the way over. You don't wanna let any of this good sauce go to waste, so go ahead and grab a, a rubber spatula or something to get all the extra sauce out of there. And if you want to, go ahead and spread it a little bit more evenly over the roast. There we go. Place the top onto your Instant Pot. Close it and lock it. Ensure that your release valve is set to sealing and not venting. We're gonna come down here to the wonderful, beautiful face. So I've been doing a little research and it comes recommended in the book to do 35 to 40 minutes for this roast, but I've read online quite a bit that it just doesn't match up with cooking times of other people's roasts. So going off of a recipe that I found from the internet, we are going to use manual mode. We are going to adjust up to 60 minutes and let it go. And then this will be natural release. This will be natural release. So of course, make sure that you're to sealing and you just let it uh, vent naturally at the end. Now, my favorite part of cooking, the unveiling of my beautiful beef brisket. <laughs> so uh, I have kept, uh, I already let all the pressure out by moving this to the venting position, released all the pressure. Now I'm going to open. Normally it makes music, but we already Absolutely unplugged it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh. Yep, that looks amazing. So we're gonna take this out. And you didn't even drop it. Didn't even drop it, thank goodness. Now, I do like to keep the juice that is remaining in here because I do like to drizzle the juice over the meat. Um, you can also use the extra barbecue sauce that I recommended making. In this uh, instance, I decided not to make some extra barbecue sauce because it's only two people eating this and I don't want all that wonderful goodness going to waste. So let me get this out of the way. I'm going to cut the strings off. Now my favorite part, cutting into this wonderful, beautiful piece of meat. We're gonna go ahead and cut against the grain to get these nice even cuts without it falling apart. Oh yeah. It really cuts really easy. As you can see, it's just about perfectly done. <laughs> 